Hi, I'm Harper. As you might be able to tell, we just woke up. Why are we coming to you in this uncaffeinated state? Because lots of our viewers have requested a video showing what we eat in a day. Uh, I think they probably meant what we eat in a day back home in the US, but we thought it might actually be fun to do it while we're here in Italy too. And it gives us a chance to show you around Ava's hometown, Dessa. So we're gonna get started because the first step is very much needed and that is coffee. Andiamo. <laughs> what I'm going to prepare for my coffee this morning. As you can see, this is a more cup pot and it's very common to find this in every Italian home. This is not espresso. The espresso is something that you usually drink in a bar and then at home you can do also this. If you read the instruction of this mocha pot. They say that you need to fill until here, but this is not what I'm going to do now. Okay, now that we've had our coffee, it's time to eat. And uh, this is probably gonna be the most boring meal of the day, but here we go. Ava, what are you having for breakfast? For breakfast, I'm having my homemade cookie. Because back in Calabria, finally, I can get my homemade cookie and I eat this. Does it have a name? This is what we call uh, here in the Sa Tarallo. And usually this is a typical cookie for uh, for Easter. Buon appetito. Grazie. Can I try a bite? No. <laughs> I had them a long time ago, but I haven't had them since I've been here. And as a kid, usually when I was here, I dip this in the water. Try milk. Trust an American on this one. Dip your cookies in milk. Uh, normally back home in the US, I have a very big breakfast. Usually a giant bowl of oatmeal with like pumpkin and nuts and stuff. Uh, but I also work out right after that breakfast. And uh, here the gyms are very closed, so I'm keeping it pretty light. My breakfast consists of a banana and a gold standard whey protein shake. <laughs> it's Ava's favorite sound in the world. <laughs> you want a sip? I still don't get how you can drink this in the morning. Are you up for a walk today? Mm -hmm. We normally go for a hike after breakfast. So, let's go. <laughs> Walking up this mountain always, uh, it reminds me of when I used to live in North Carolina. It looks kind of similar to me. And I always feel like I'm gonna turn a corner and stumble upon like a moonshiner or something. <laughs> Ava, have you ever had moonshine? As you can see guys, here we are in the middle of olive trees because uh, in Calabria we have a lot of olive trees. Now they are not blooming because it's now spring yet. And usually this is the period of the year in which they cut the, how do you say, rami? Branches. Branches. So they have the chance to grow and grow the olives so that they will be ready here in Calabria around November, middle of November. As you can see, we've got a pretty nice view of Dessa down below us. And over there, it's a little hazy, but over there is the ocean. That's the Tyrrhenian Sea. What blows my mind is that we're basically right in the middle of the toe of Italy. So if you were to look equidistant 
on the other side, if the mountain weren't in the way, uh, you would see the Ionian Sea. Uh, so it just kind of goes to show how thin the uh, toe of Italy is. We basically arrived at the top of the mountain and across the valley from us is the town of Arena. It uh, overlooks the Sa up on the mountain here. And it's notably cool to me because right there is a 14th century Norman castle that is really cool. You getting hungry, Ava? Yes, Albert, always. <laughs> After this trip, more than before. Well, it's time to head back down and pick what we're gonna have for lunch. As you can see, I meant that quite literally because Ava tends to stick to fruit for lunch. I, on the other hand, I'm gonna eat what I eat every single day, whether it's in the US or here, pasta. The question is, which pasta? Albert, I have always an idea for your pasta, so don't worry. And there you have it. That's our lunch, ready to eat. I'm having this delicious looking artichoke pasta. As you can see, I don't even put it on a plate. I just eat it right out of the pan. And Ava's having a fennel orange salad. Okay, Arthur, buon appetito. Buon appetito. Can I try yours? First, you need to try my pasta. Yes, yeah, sure. <laughs> Let's see if it's good or not. It seems pretty good, but... I don't know, I'm skeptical. Buon appetito, Harper. Buon appetito. Mm, we can change it. <laughs> Brava. Grazie. Good job. I know. Mm. This is a really good example of how the way I eat in Italy in some ways is exactly the same as in the US. I do eat pasta every day, even in the US, but it's also different because, for instance, the artichokes you can get here are amazing you cannot get good artichokes in Maine. We never eat artichokes. So I would always have a pasta dish, but never one like this. I go back to my salad that I love because I love oranges. And I'm sorry, I never got a very good orange back in Maine. So finally here I can go and pick the oranges from the trees and they are absolutely delicious. Can I try an orange? Yes, because you made me try your pasta. <laughs> this is the taste of an orange. Buon appetito. Buon appetito. Well, now that we've had our lunch, <laughs> there are still some things around Dessa that I haven't really explored yet, so I thought maybe we would uh, check out the town. Absolutely, yes. Also because after our lunch, we need a little bit to digest. 
Maybe I do. I had an entire pan of pasta. You had some fennel. Yes, I know. And oranges. <laughs> oh. Okay, as you can see in the picture there, uh, here, this place were used for, uh, it was made for women that usually they wash uh, our, the clothes. And I remember when I was a child, they came here also to wash my clothes. Usually they gave me just a napkin and they gave me the homemade soap and I spent like hours just cleaning this napkin all the time. Guys, here we are, uh, as you can see, in the ancient meal of Dasa. And this is, uh, was the place where people from Dasa brought their own grain or mice to our corn, sorry, to make uh, the flour for their pasta, their bread. And uh, this still uh, works, so they are trying to make it work again uh, and uh, to make our flour also from, uh, from here. On this door uh, there, is, uh, there is a picture of one of the most important moments in the past of Dasa because all around here uh, in the past, uh, the, during the 1600s, there was the plague. There was the plague in Arena, there was the plague in the other village very close to here. The only place that they didn't have the plague was Dasa. And it seems that uh, we didn't have the plague because of the Holy Mary, since that she blocked the plague or people from the south, they want to believe that she blocked the plague outside of the south. Well guys, it's getting later here and it's almost time for Ava and I to start thinking about making dinner. But first, we have something very important we need to do and it involves you. Okay, Diane wants to know, have you tried cooking Neapolitan pizza in a charcoal grill? No, but I want to. It was too cold in Maine. I really want to try that though. Uh, someone <laughs> wants to know where our cookbook is. A work in progress. Work in progress. Ava, what do you do to your hair? Mm, nothing. It's just I just eat good food and I wash them. Uh, this is someone who can't eat pork, but they want to try a carbonara. Is there anything they can substitute for the guanciale? Okay, if they understand that they are not going to eat a carbonara, Maybe they can substitute the guanciale, for example, with the artichokes. We do this in Italy. Oh, or, okay. Or asparagi, or zucchine. Someone wants to know if manicotti is actually Italian. It's an Italian dish, but we don't know it with the name of manicotti. We call them cannelloni. Oh, it's, it's, the same, it's the same thing, cannelloni, yes. manicotti. Harper, look, someone made a wonderful scarpariello. Oh, that looks good. I love when people cook that dish because it's like, it's like the pasta grammar dish. It's our favorite, probably. Si. And look at this tagliatelle. They did a good job. A wonderful job. These pictures are getting my uh, appetite worked up. <laughs> Speaking of which, what are we gonna have for dinner tonight? We normally do, in the evenings, we do like some meat or some fish, chicken, stuff like that, and some vegetables. Any ideas for tonight? Yes, I have a surprise for you. We have two big fishes that I will cook in a special way.
dinner is served. Uh, what an unusual way to cook fish. However, it's very usual that Ava finds an unusual way to cook our usual dinner. <laughs> but this is uh, a way that is pretty common in Italy, is uh, cottura al sale. Usually we cook the fish, they should be a medium or a big fish, not the sardinas. But also we can cook uh, chicken al sale and it's very, very light way of cooking because you just cover with salt uh, baked in the oven you don't need the extra condiment because uh, yeah, there wasn't even any oil no then if you want if you want you can add some olive oil uh, after like now but if you don't want uh, the spigola the sea bream sea bass is good by itself so okay well i'm eager to try you promise it's not gonna be super salty buon appetito Harper. <laughs> buon appetito Tell me if it's salty. It's perfect. It's, it's so moist too. It's moisty. It's uh, full of flavor. It's not salty. Wow. Mm. Let's try the veggies. Got tomatoes, zucchini, eggplant. Um, bell peppers. Bell peppers. Fish and vegetables. Two foods I didn't eat before I met it, but... <laughs> So finally you learn how to eat fish and, and vegetables. <laughs> Guys, we'll put both the recipes in the description below. Let us know if you try them. Uh, we hope that you enjoyed this little behind the scenes look at uh, the food we eat every day and sort of our everyday lives, at least here in Italy. There is one part of our day that really doesn't resemble our actual life. And that was the absence of Ava's family. While we're here in Italy, all of these meals we would enjoy with her parents. However, Mamma Rosa is a little shy. She has promised that she'll be in a video soon, but she's not quite ready yet. So today, uh, Ava's house has two kitchens, by the way, because you need two kitchens. So we're in the second kitchen, and they did their eating today in the, yeah. the, the first kitchen. Uh, so she'll be on soon, but uh, today wasn't quite the day, so. So Harper, we should eat though, because otherwise everything will be cold. Yes, all right. Well guys, we'll be back next week. Uh, in the meantime, hit subscribe if you haven't already. Follow us on social media, at Pasta Grammar, and we'll see you next time. Ciao. Ciao.